Alright guys, now we're gonna do problem 2-6 in which you have to determine the magnitude of the resultant force FR which is a sum of F1 plus F2 and its direction measured clockwise from the positive U axis which is this one This one's not so tricky, you just gotta pretend that the U axis is the X axis and then there's a this will be the Y axis that bigger y-axis and pretend this is the x-axis and then just work normal you just gotta like tilt your head and figure it out so basically you're adding the forces the resultant force on the x is the x component of this one which will be this one added to the x component of this one which will be this one so you can imagine it's going to be a much longer one over here so by adding the x components which are 4k times the cosine of 45 plus 6k cosine of 30 something I forgot to mention how did I get this 45 degrees well as you can see this line is straight which means that this whole angle is 180 if you subtract the 75 and the 30, you get 75 degrees. So 180 minus 75 minus 30 gives you this angle, which is 75. Now, same thing for this one. This is a straight line. So if you subtract this 180 from this angle, so you get this angle right here, which is 45 degrees. So you basically figure it out all the angles that you need this way you could figure this one out too but you're not going to use it for anything that's mm, mm, always simplify your drawings this way get as much information as you can on the paper look at it analyze it and start thinking like a, an engineer so when you do this calculation you're going to get 8.025k just like to put the k make the number simpler and now for the y Remember, the y is not the v. The y is this. The angle between the v and the u is 75. It's not 90 degrees. To get the y, you do the same fashion. 4k sine of 45. Cosine of 45 and sine of 45 are the exact same thing. Plus 6k sine of 30 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not plus. It's... Let me get my eraser. It's minus because the y component is this of this and the y component goes in the negative y direction therefore it's negative when you calculate this you're gonna get 8.027 oh, I'm sorry when you calculate this you're gonna get let me erase it negative point one seven one six k so basically these are the x and y coordinates you gotta convert this to polar and when you convert this to polar you're gonna get eight point zero two seven at an angle of one point twenty two degrees to get this you basically add this to and square square them square each add them and then square root them so f will be 8.025 square plus 0.1716 square square rooted and the angle is the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component which is f r y over f Rx, sorry, it's not equal. This is a. This would be this angle. This angle. In case you're wondering. Final answer.